Welcome. This week you'll be looking at projectile motion. So the learning outcomes for this experiment is you'll be learning how to calculate launching velocities and trajectories for projectiles via experimentation and also a few theoretical calculations. So what you will actually do in the lab, part one, you'll be obtaining the launching velocity from dropping your ball at a specific height. I'll show you in a minute how to do this in the lab. Um, it's fairly straightforward. And then you'll be using that in the second part to calculate the trajectory from launching the ball from that same height that you were dropping it, but over a different distance. And you'll be aiming to land the ball in the cup. So I'll show you what I mean now in the lab and we'll come back to some hints. Okay, so for the first part of this experiment, you'll be wanting to launch your ball down the ramp multiple times to gain an estimate of the velocity that it's leaving the launcher based off the distance it travels. So all you'll need is the brass ball, uh, sorry, the ball bearing to begin with, and also um, your graphene paper. This is going to leave imprints onto your graph paper when you launch the ball, and also some masking tape. So you'll need this to tape down your graph paper to the desk, and also to measure out where you're going to drop the ball. So it's really important that you consistently drop the ball from the same place. And we also don't want you marking out on the tables with any pencils or pens, so use masking tape instead so we can clean it up. So when you're ready, all you need to do is place the ball where you've marked out, drop it, and then lift up your paper and you should see that leaves an indent from where the ball landed. So now you're going to repeat this a bunch of times and then I'll show you what you do next. So when you're finished, you should have something that looks like this, just a cluster of points around where your ball looked like it was hitting. Um, so all you need to do is measure the distance from your launcher and where those points are. You do this along the ground and make sure you're measuring from uh, the tip of this point rather than back at the base of the launcher because that's a slightly different distance that you need to account for. So everything else, uh, you can just follow through your lab book, it's fairly straightforward, but yeah, ask your demonstrator if you have any more problems. So once you've finished the first part, you should have the velocity at which your ball is leaving the launcher. And then in the second part, what you're doing is calculating how far that ball will travel when you launch it from the desk. So once you have that measurement, you need to mark it out with your ruler and once you've done that, it'll look something like this. Um, make sure that you don't grab this without the demonstrator's permission. Um, you have the dimensions for it in your lab manual, so you don't need it. Um, but you only get one attempt at this, and if we see you taking it, we'll have to take a mark off for it. Um, so please just um, grab the demonstrator when you're ready. Okay, so once you are ready and you've placed the cup where it should be, um, if your calculations are correct, then you should hope when you launch it, it'll land straight in the cup. Um, lastly, one thing I'll mention is if you're on the side of the room that has glass, please do not face the launcher towards the glass because we don't want anything breaking. Okay, welcome back. So the main things that go wrong in this experiment are people not quite checking their calculations properly. So make sure you double check your calculations before you launch. Uh, you're welcome to check with your demonstrator if you're unsure about any of your um, calculations. So please check before you launch and you won't lose any marks. So um, as part of that is just check your horizontal alignment. A lot of people um, mark out their distance well, but then forget to make sure the launcher is actually aligned with where their cup is. So don't forget this. A uh, common mistake in people's calculations is to leave out the height of their cup. Um, so just make sure you don't do this. Um, you can see it in your lab manual when you get up to it, but ask your demonstrator again if you're not sure. And finally, be consistent with where you're dropping the ball. Um, yes, you're going to get a different velocity and therefore launch a ball a different distance if you're not dropping it from the same distance, uh, from the same height every time. So make sure you're consistent with that and do not get the cup for practice runs without your demonstrator's permission. Otherwise, we'll have to take marks off you for it. So um, with that, please enjoy the lab. I'm sure you'll have a great time with it.